Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, we have a, a great set of news today. Um, normally we have, sometimes we have great news, sometimes we have terrible news, sometimes we just want to, you know, jump off the ledge and make sure we uh, forget everything that we have witnessed. But today is good news, and uh, it is because uh, Warner Bros. calls it quits with Urza Miller's The Flash. Well, it looks like they're going to have to get a new guy. Well then. Huh. We could save three minutes by listening as well. But at the same time, we could also just, you know, read it. Because we're normal people here. Anywho. For the better part of a decade, Warner Bros. has tried its hardest to bring the Flash to the big screen, finally giving DC's Scarlet Speedster his ever his, his first ever solo movie. Unfortunately, after countless delays and personal changes, the movie now appears to be in more trouble than ever before, thanks to lead star Ursula Miller's off-screen issues. Yeah, you know, besides him being, you know, a uh, <clears throat> child grabber, you know, uh, I'm not quite sure exactly what they're doing here. Um, you know, it just seems Hollywood likes us to hire a lot of child grabbers rather than, you know, kind of vetting and making sure that they're not child grabbers or just six pieces or six pieces of shit. Or uh, lunatics. There's also that. You know, Alec Baldwin comes to mind. That guy is completely unhinged. My God, he is an absolute lunatic. Huh. <sighs> Miller has been at the center of one fortunate controversy after another over the past few months, which, all has, which has all happened since filming for The Flash wrapped up in October 2021. Hopefully it never comes back. Most recently, the film's leading star mysteriously deleted their Instagram page after sharing a barrage of memes in reaction, in reaction to accusations of grooming, and the situation grows more troublesome seemingly by the day. You know what's hilarious is that you know when people are, are actually are an are, are, are issue of something, or it's or the other huge problem is when um, they start to uh, delete everything that is on their social media accounts and kind of, you know, making sure that they are the ones that they're doing this. <laughs> it's almost hilarious. It's just like, oh, well, why are you hiding stuff, huh? Uh, there's a reason why you're hiding, right? Because, you know, normally people who are innocent don't have anything to hide. They're normally, you know, innocent. Uh, you're kind of being kind of sus there, bud. What you do? Is everything that you were doing kind of uh, kind of correct? You child grabber. For the time being, the Flash's release has been delayed until June 20, 23rd, twenty twenty three. Oh, thank God! Oh, it saves us all some great time of of humiliation and you know scarring. Still leaving another full year until the highly anticipated solo movie finally premieres for the DCEU faithful, which they'll most likely make it into LGBT, LGBTQ plus far left garbage. So, you know, I'm not going to watch that either. So, sucks for them. For Unfortunately, once that blockbuster does make its way into the public eye, it may be the end for the actor playing the leading role of Barry Allen. Allen Miller's days as a flash. Numbered. Ooh. According to Deadline, Warner Bros. has decided to call it quits with Urza Miller's Flash in the D DCEU following the release of The Flash next year. As, ins ins as Insider told the outlet that new Warner Bros. Discovery CEO David Z Zaslav simply hopes uh, the scandal surrounding Miller stays under the radar until The Flash premieres in theaters in June 2023. Uh, I probably won't. Because I'm pretty sure people when reporters like us will make sure it's very well known. I know the courting is doing it, and hopefully we can get a few more other people that can uh, that will do it, so we know exactly on what this type of man is. You know, a uh, child grabber. Oh, and on top of uh, not just a child grabber, but a home invader. Um, you know, a person that's just not a great. Oh, a, a, a going out to yelling at the police. I mean, th this guy is just a whole stem of just lunacy out of their lunacy, and you know. The reason why they also don't want this to go completely viral or or under wraps is because they want they don't want to be known that they were, you know, celebrating and upping up a child grabber and a Pacific um and a man that likes to 
break into things and stuff. Because they were doing it for months and it took forever. Because a lot of people are realizing that it took multiple of these accusations for these things to happen rather than anything scanning him. However, I will, I will test. They probably wanted information out before canning somebody. I would I would agree with that. I am not under the agreement of removing people until information is completely out and, you know, they have research due to court of law that they have been proven to do this. However, they have, there's a lot of ample evidence, so, you know, to save their skin, they probably have to remove this guy and plan because they can't just have this guy out in the field and, you know, there's actual evidence of this. Also, him deleting his Instagram and stuff like that probably shows a lot of uh, stuff back in the day. So, I can understand why not wanting to remove them immediately, but, again, th this guy is a bit... Uh, well, that's also another thing is that you also make the make companies like this vet a lot harder than they actually do. I mean, I know there's only so much vetting can do, right? Like if they actually do a criminal thing while under you, and you know it's been proven or they've been arrested or etc., then yes, probably would be best to get rid of them, right? But in this case, I mean, it, it's, it's for me, it's kind of a slippery slope. But again. There's a reason why Warner Bros. doesn't really want us to be on the down low rather than up and high because it doesn't want they don't want to portray themselves as supporting somebody like this. Uh, so goes on to say, to what's next for Ezra, Ezra Miller? To put it in the simplest of terms, the controversy surrounding Ezra, Mr. Ezra, Ezra Miller could reach a breaking point in the not so distant future. The Flash leading actor has been arrested twice within the last three months, which comes up. To on top of the accusations of him grooming a 12-year-old actri actress a few years ago, this led to rumors that Warner Bros. was looking at their options screen concerning Miller as Barry or Allen, although that company firmly denied that there was any substance to lose to, to those reports that same week. Um, he, honestly, he should have been fired for being arrested two, twice in the last three months because you don't really want somebody under that. And obviously, it depends on what type of, like, what he's been arrested for. Like, maybe you can get, maybe, maybe a DUI might be a little more justification for maybe not firing him. But anything that contains violence or, or anything of the sort probably should be induced to actually firing him on the spot. Um, so, I mean, that's probably what you have to do because, uh, again, you get stuff like this. Um... Uh, fans will pay close attention to Warner Bros. public statements over the next few weeks should the company decide to comment on the situation in any way whatsoever. Uh, probably for them, they probably they most likely won't because it's a PR nightmare for them. Uh, regardless of whether that happens, there's no denying that both of Studio and Miller are in some serious trouble, particularly with such a significant movie on the table. Seeing as The Flash is still such a long time from, from its theatrical debut, the studio will need to have some serious talks about how to proceed with this particular movie and the, and the Flash character as a whole. Even though The Flash... Well, Flash is Miller's first solo movie after supporting roles in three other films, not counting Zack Snyder's Justice League. The actors' off-camera actions may leave the company in no choice but ex about exploring other avenues. They are going to 100% explore other avenues. Although Miller has some support from co-workers in the industry, there are some potentially dark days ahead with regard to the actors' f future and what a one versus decision. So, again. So, again we're facing they're facing these other scenarios again I, I still think I still think on to why exactly the these companies well I know why because they don't care and they want to cater to the far left ideology okay so but what they should start realize what they should be doing is start first off making good movies no first off vetting actual actors and making sure they don't have a criminal history etc cetera, etc cetera, all this other stuff and then two making good movies and then three probably removing the people when they actually do crimes because a lot of people don't really like others that do crimes and they just don't get punished etc for it because it doesn't it doesn't uh, cater to the average person right it doesn't cater to the typical people that have to follow by by rules that by super rich people don't have to follow so uh yeah it's probably a great start but not really too terribly surprised um, nice to see a person finally getting hit with something that, that they probably deserve to get hit by. Karma's wrapping up. I like seeing these people lose and, uh, a great safety net for the kids. At least, uh, well, at least from him. 
Alright guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.